What has 2020 taught you? Don't put shit you want to do off. You never know when some giant global event will completely fuck up all your plans. When you think it can't get worse, it definitely can. People are selfish AF. Video games are fun but not when it's the only thing you can do. The thing I learned that is most beneficial to me was certainly to be patient. At the start of the year, I wanted everything ASAP. I thought COVID would be done in months. Now the idea of waiting a year or even three is not that terrible anymore. It has given me a lot of peace. I feel less stressed about everything. I still got at least 30 years to live, maybe as much as 60. I have enough time for whatever I want to do. I will still have enough time in a decade. It's one massive group project. I know I'm doing my part right but the rest of the group is messing it up for me. People are awful and I was right to always be introverted and cautious. We can't have nice things. Remember how hyped we were for 4 20ths the month. Yay me neither. How to bake amazing sourdough bread and pastry at home. And cooking in general, which I never took interest in before. The YouTube cooking community is absolutely amazing. Check out Alex the French Guy, https colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash user slash French Guy Cooking Closing parenthesis, Joshua Weissman, https colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash channel slash yushvimki one ekmi 32 uu Closing parenthesis, Binging with Babish, https colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash user slash bgfilms closing parenthesis and bread by Joyride Coffee, https colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash channel slash ucclcx8 binwu6 bjyjukdu closing parenthesis. That having no outs to depression sucks. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing anymore. We're all in this together, unfortunately. Just getting by ISNT living. If zombies do appear humans will probably kill you first. Nothing can prepare you for the harshness of our society. If you want to be successful and live you have to take your life into your own hands and make things happen. I realized a sizable chunk of America could be talked into supporting a genocide if enough articles supporting it showed up on their FB feed. Let me never fall into the vulgar mistake of dreaming that I am persecuted whenever I am contradicted Ralph Waldo Emerson sadly, I feel like this is the most relevant this quote has ever been. People conflating science and societal care with tyranny and violation of rights. Taught me the red flags of a mentally abusive relationship and that you will never be able to change that person. That my teachers can't use computers. Seriously how hard can it be to send an email with exercises? People are fucking stupid. Being serious here, hope that's okay. That I don't need to shop. My son and I don't need to go out every weekend and buy new things. We are perfectly capable with what we have. In fact we've pared down what we had. Money in the bank. Soon as this passes over, if. We're going to Disney. Authoritarianism is never that far away in any place. People are too willing to forego critical thinking and will readily buy the bullshit. It taught me that my so is definitely the person I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. Nothing like a global pandemic and shelter in place order to rapidly progress a new relationship, A. Eh? That huge swaths of our society lack even the most basic critical thinking skills. Sorry, but if you outright deny facts and empirical evidence to believe in something comfortable to you, you aren't some, woke up, great thinker above all the, sheep. You're a fucking moron and huge drain on the rest of us. It's legitimately healthy to disconnect from news and media. We are not wired to feel horrible all the time. Even when bad things are happening we don't have to constantly feel angry or sad about it. It's more humane to find moments of peace and good things worth striving for than to exist in an unending paralysis of sympathy and guilt. Edit. If you're taking time to disconnect from tragic news and rage mongering, Put some of that energy you save towards taking care of your own community. Take good care of yourselves and do something good for others too. That stupidity can spread. I've learned that I'm ready for retirement. The lifestyle of doing nothing all day and getting paid for the privilege suits me well.
It's a shame I have 31 more years until I actually can retire though. I love being a dad. Being a stay-at-home dad is fucking awesome. The roles were always reversed until now and I felt like I was missing so much of my kids' lives providing for them. Going from breadwinner to Mr. Mom obviously took some adjustments but I feel like I know my boys better than ever. Helping them doing their online kindergarten classes and teaching my youngest to walk along with another long list of memories has changed my view on fatherhood and taught me so much. Depression and how to realize you have it. Cancer as a bitch. Never let the Pope slap a woman on January 1st, https colon slash slash imager.com slash cxa 7 xxw closing parenthesis. The Some people would rather be right than be good. That I'm a raging homosexual. That I need to focus on my art more. No information is good information anymore. People always know better. We doubt doctors, scientists, evidence, willingness to cooperate. I learned that not a lot of people wash their hands regularly. Nothing is a given. That the more uneducated people are, the more assertive and vocal they are regarding something they don't have any clue about. We can aspire to do better but as of right now we're fucked. Even in a terrible year, good things can happen. It taught me that if a year is bad enough, there will always be questions like, what has this year taught you? It can always get worse. I can jack off like four times a day and still get a more productive workday in than if I was at the office. Cheese crackers and cheese balls aren't a good combination. That there is a huge percentage of this country that is fucking stupid as hell. That there are more stupid people than I thought. That aside from needing to, I really don't have any great desire to go outside. Also apparently any day I don't need to put a bra on is a good day. Working in an office is really not necessary for many people. I already believed that having single-payer healthcare in the US was necessary, but now I'm just astounded how fucking dense our leadership is. Not to mention how dense the population is. Everyone deserves a living wage. I don't care how easy their job is. Again I felt this way for a while, but now it is even more true. I don't understand why everyone isn't on team tax the fucking rich. It is patently obvious that there are no consequences for rich people and that the overwhelming majority of US leadership does not care about their constituents at all. Only corporate donors. I did not know it was possible for me to loathe human beings as much as I loathe Trump and his cronies and supporters. We are absolutely fucked as a species there are a much larger number of brainwashed, toxic, racist, and or religious assholes in this country than I ever suspected, and I'm beginning to think religion is at the core of it. I don't know how we can get it through people's heads that believing in a deity doesn't make you better than anyone else or give you any authority to control them. And of course these people go on and on about the First Amendment, thinking it only applies to them and not the people who think they are full of shit. That a huge percentage of Americans are selfish and have little to no empathy for their fellow man. I am right about thinking I don't need human contact. That a little work on something every day makes a huge difference over a couple of months. That the AI is taking us down a path of ruin. I learned that you can still lose faith in humanity even if you had none to begin with. That despite all those things my parents lead me to believe, I can be successful. I bought my first house this year reconnected with a good friend and am starting a business with her. It's been rough having zero breaks from my kids and they're missing out on socializing and preschool, but we have grown closer and they're learning a new resilience that I never learned. I'm proud of them and myself. How parents can be really ignorant and oblivious to logic because of fear and personal beliefs. 1. I need to have my own home too, not interacting with the outside and people drains my batteries 3. I love to cook. Shit's fucked. Be nice to each other. Even the smallest things could fuck us all. That even if you are the most careful person in the world, things will absolutely go wrong and there's nothing you can do to stop it. Work from home is even better than I thought it would be. You have to put the effort in yourself to maintain work-life balance, because when you have the capability to work from your bedroom, 
your employer won't stop providing work until you say you're done for the day. That I was right not to trust anybody. In the end the only one looking out for you is yourself. That half of America is perfectly fine with taking children from their parents, packing them into concentration camps for tens of times what is legal, denying them their basic human rights, subjecting them to constant sexual assaults and rape, and forced sterilization of the women. All because their parents crossed some imaginary line in the sand. Hitler is here, and was in office. And half of the country clapped and cheered. We are really stupid and I am surprised we reached this far as a race. Human are selfish. Anti-maskers human need socialization. Human are social creatures and need interaction with folks. Isolation has been hard for many. The planet will continue on if we wipe ourselves out. Early pandemic where we wall shut down. If you have a pet, friend, or family member that you love, try and see them as often and make memories as often, since life is short and fleeting. A beloved family pet passed away shortly after getting sick. In a span of one month he passed away. I thought he was gonna live another 10 years tbh. I'm still mourning and grieving his loss. I'm vulnerable, unhappy with certain aspects of my life, and that's okay. I'm still here and I can make a change. Been dealing with my depression and anxiety after a series of events that's been having me confront some hard truths. So many life stresses occurred at once out the blue. Murphy sucks. However, I'm bouncing back and reevaluating aspects of my life that I could change. There are things you can't change like a flooded apartment or a passing of a pet. However, I could work towards a career change and do things like let people, pets know I love them. Appreciate the little things in life and savor the good moments when they come by. I realized how much I love my fiancé, family, friends, and pet. I appreciate the life even for all its mishaps. My friendships cannot survive a pandemic. Even 30-year ones. That hindsight is 2020. That even though I'm an introvert I still miss going to concerts, events and such. Sure, I have enjoyed working from home and having more time for myself but I still miss going places and I think that once this is over I will try to enjoy the moment rather than thinking about when I'm going home again. No job is worth working yourself into a permanent, possibly debilitating, injury. I've learned that no movie adequately captures a global crisis. I can't think of one disaster film where the B story is that a decent chunk of the population joins a cult and begins to worship an obese orange racist. Major instability apparently makes people fucking loopy. Fact is stranger than fiction. If a political party, you know which, pointed a gun at the entire population, 40% of my country would gladly stick the barrel in their mouths. That I have a serious problem with taking things for granted. Two friends that were like sisters to me passed away this year, one of a pre-existing illness, I'm not sure if it was her cystic fibrosis or the cancer that came as part of it, and one at 21 years old from COVID, despite having no pre-existing conditions or risk factors. All I can think about is all of the times I could have called, could have talked to them. All the plans we never got to do and all of the things left unfinished. I always just assumed there would be time. I've learned that growing up as a loner, and focusing on hobbies that only involve me, has really helped my mental stability. I don't have any desire to go out to the bar, or to go out and eat. I have my video games, my 3D printer, my motorcycles, and my books. I could do this another year if I have to. That love you think lasts forever. No, it doesn't. It does not feel good to get fucked by a furry. Some people are so ungrateful to not be infected. It can happen to you. I had a tumor and had COVID a few months after surgery for removal of my tumor in my parotid gland. I never thought either of those things would happen to me, a young healthy person. But they did. I survived and I am grateful for every day. That life is so fragile, yet so strong. It can crumble completely and then be rebuilt from ruins within a matter of months. I really do hate middle school kids. And high school kids. College kids are chill. It makes me remember the Ron Swanson quote, People are idiots, Leslie. My job can absolutely be done from home. And honestly, I work harder and more efficiently like this anyway. Thanks for watching.
See you later. Thank you.